Hi everyone, I'm Matt, and this is the Lenovo Moto G4 Plus, the premium model of this year's Moto G lineup. Lenovo announced a total of three phones, with the other two being the Moto G4 and Moto G Play. I've been using the G4 Plus for over a day, and I have to say it's a pretty sweet mid-range phone. Now, this is not a full review, but more of a hands-on and first impressions. I'll have the full review out in the next couple of weeks or so, so make sure you're subscribed for that. The Moto G line gets better looking every year, and you can see that it still takes a lot of design cues from its bigger brother, the Moto X. The top is slightly curved and the back still retains the famous dimple that's perfect for resting your finger. The body is made out of plastic, including the frame, and the back uses a rubberized polycarbonate texture similar to the back of the Moto X style. I personally like it as it prevents the phone from slipping out of my hand or off the desk. The power and volume buttons are placed on the right side and feel solid. I remember last year's Moto G and Moto X Play having loose buttons that would often rattle. It's a small detail, but one you'll appreciate. This year, a fingerprint scanner is included and based on my experience so far, it's been fast and accurate. If you're wondering if it's also a physical home button, it's not. You'll have to use the on-screen buttons to get around. Speaking of screens, this one is a 5.5 inch full HD display, a first for a Moto G device. It's an IPS panel and surprisingly a pretty good one too. I actually thought it was AMOLED at first as the colors are warm, fairly bright and have good viewing angles. But I do find the whites to be a little on the yellow side. Just like previous Moto devices, you get Moto Display which shows the time, date and any notifications if you move the phone or tap on it. Now if you're wondering where the speaker is, it's at the top of the display. It doubles as an earpiece and a speaker. It's great they put it on the front, but the sound quality is just okay. It's good enough to watch movies or listen to music in a quiet room. In terms of performance, the G4 Plus packs a Snapdragon 617 processor and 2GB of RAM. I'm using the model with 16GB of storage, which is the one coming to Canada. With my unit only having 2GB of RAM, I am concerned about future performance. As we've seen with the Nexus 5X, 2GB of RAM causes a lot of lag when too many apps are running. But as of right now, the G4 Plus feels fast and fluid. Apps load and run well, browsing is smooth, and playing games is fine. I'll have a better idea regarding the performance once I've completed in my full review. The software installed is the latest version of Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 and like last year's Moto G, most of stock Android shines through. This is always a good thing as you will get faster performance and a clean experience. However, Motorola has included a few nice touches that don't get in the way and actually add value to the user experience. You can still chop twice to turn on the flashlight, twist your wrist or double tap the power button to use the camera and pick up the phone to have it stop ringing. Speaking of the camera, it's the most exciting feature of the G4 Plus because it's supposed to be really good. In fact, DxOMark, a repeatable site that tests camera lenses, ranked it at 84 next to the iPhone 6S Plus and Nexus 6P. The camera is 16 megapixels, has phase detection, and laser autofocus, which result in super fast autofocus. I can't comment on how well it actually does against the iPhone 6S Plus. As of yet, I'll need to do further testing, but my experience so far has been really good. It's fast, takes clean photos, and seems like one of the better cameras you can get at this price point. Like I mentioned earlier, it does come with 16 gigabytes of internal storage, but it also has a micro SD card slot capable of holding up to 128 gigabytes. The battery inside is 3000 milliamps. It's non-removable, but because it's using a full HD screen, getting a full day of battery life shouldn't be a problem. All right, so my first impressions of the Moto G4 Plus have been positive. The phone manages to feel great in the hand while being super light. It offers a good display, stock Android, and a good camera. Now I do have some concerns about performance due to only having two gigabytes of RAM, but I'll have a better idea once I put it through my full review. So make sure you're subscribed for that. The Moto G4 Plus will be sold off contract in Canada. The price is yet to be determined and it will be available sometime early this summer. Now for my American viewers, it's also coming to the US. They're saying around midsummer, and I don't have pricing as of yet. So what do you guys think of the Moto G4 Plus so far? I wanna hear what you guys have to say in the comments down below. I wanna thank everyone out there for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video.